are a new subscriber, my name is Lexi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thumbs up this video if you are, if you like it. And if you're an old, old subscriber, you're my baby. So thank you so much for tuning in as well. So today we're going to do a review on the Shea Moisture Clear and Balanced Problem Skin Facial, facial System. So... Um, I did a facial routine video, my morning facial routine video. You all may have seen it. If you haven't seen it, I'll post a link down below. In that video, I talk about my uh, morning skincare routine and how I don't really have bad skin. But lately, I've been really stressed out. And I think um, because of a new foundation that I tried, my face has been breaking out really bad. So I tried this product and it actually made my breakouts um, go away. So my skin is currently breaking out right now. For what reason, I don't know, but I'm still using this, but this made my breakouts go away initially. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to just give you all a review on this and let you know how how it worked for me. And you know, I had never seen this before or anything before I purchased it. So I purchased this from Target for $20 and it comes with four different products. So yeah, so it's for clear and balanced blemished oily skin. It's that, it comes with four different things. Let me show you all. Black soap. I use this, so look. I just put it back in the box so I can pull it out. <laughs> it's a, a perfect size of black soap, like the regular size. Problem Skin Facial Mask, which is, sorry guys, which is like a black color. Grayish, blackish. And then I have a Problem Skin Moisturizer. And this is really, really thick. See, I don't use much of it. Um, yeah, I don't use much. And then I, you have the Problem Skin Facial Wash and Scrub as well. So it comes with this nice size amount um, for $20 for the whole box. This is four ounces. The other things are two ounces. And this is just a regular bar of soap. So, I initially purchased this because, you know, I like Shea Moisture's hair products. I never, like, seen reviews for this until I, like, actually bought it and see any... I see, like, a few reviews on it or some products, but not the actual box. Sometimes I see the box, sometimes I don't. So, I wanted to come and give you all this review. So, just so you know, this product... These products have African Black Soap which is um, a remedy for blemish, troubled skin. As you all know, I had traction alopecia and I used black soap for my shampoo and it helped grow to grow my hair back because it does have healing properties. So that attracted, to me, attracted me to this product at first. And then we have the Shea Butter, which deeply moisturized and repaired your skin. Tamarind Extract, which is a natural um, exfoliant and it, it brightens your skin. And Tea Tree Oil, which ha promotes healing and with naturally antiseptic properties. Is synthetic free, um, no fragrance, no synthetic color, no animal testing, no sulfates, no mineral, no mineral oil, no paraffin. So it's really, really healthy. It's really, really good for your skin compared to other products that are out there. It has this on the inside. It tells you each thing that each product does. And I really like this product. So I use my facial wash. I'll take the facial wash and I wash my face with this at night. I was using it probably like two days a week, but as I noticed as I use it more, my face is starting to break out a little bit more and I don't know why. Uh, I'm going to keep on using it though because, or I may like switch it up between my clean and clear moist, my clean and clear wash and that and that because that may be irritating my face for some reason, which I don't even know the reason. But if, if you use it for two days, on the back it says, what does it say? It says use once or twice weekly as required. So, I don't think you should use this every day. It was working really well when I used it once or twice weekly. So, I'm going to switch back to that because my skin was really, really clearing up when I was using this. So, I'll take this. So, I'll use that. And I'll also use my, to exfoliate my skin, which I think you should do probably. I exfoliate my skin probably twice a month. Um, it's suggested to get all the dead skin off of your face. I use these facial buff sponges. So from Target. They're $1.99 and I love them. These are my like fave. So I use them and I exfoliate my face with these. But I only do it like once or twice a month. If I see fit, if my skin is really, really bad, I'll use it more. But more, more than likely, I'll use it one time a month. I, after I wash my face with the Problem Skin Facial Scrub Moisturizer, I'll go in and I'll take the 
I'll go in and take the Problem Skin Moisturizer and I'll put this on my face and while I surf the web or I do my homework, I'll leave this on. I don't put a lot on because it leaves a lot of residue if you put a lot on. So I put a little, like a thin layer on and I'll leave it on until it dries. I actually slept in this before and then I'll wash my face in the morning. After I get done washing my face, I'll take my Cleaning Clear Essentials Deep Cleaning toner and I use a cotton ball and I wipe my face with this just to wipe it clean to make sure everything is off and after that I use my dual action moisturizer from clean and clear now I do use this moisturizer as well but this moisturizer is really thick and it leaves my face really really greasy so I try not to use it as much but it does it is a good moisturizer but the smell is like really, 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 really strong. So I try to use it just at night, not in the daytime. If I put it on at night and then I wake up in the morning, my skin is like really oily looking. So yeah, it's okay. It's thick. I actually have been using this for a lotion as well because it's so thick. So it works really well as a lotion. I wanted to throw in a little review because I don't want to dedicate a whole review to this product. The Bior Baking Soda pore cleanser so I purchased this when I purchased the Shea Moisture products I was like yeah I'll just give this a try anytime my face breaks out I just go to Target and I try to find products like that are good or they're new and see if they'll work for me I noticed that if I use the same products over and over again my skin gets immune to it and it, it doesn't work so yeah I went and got this and using this I did not like this product because it made my face really really dry um, I have dry skin if I don't moisturize but I, I guess that's with anybody uh, my skin can get pretty oily though at the same time and when I use this my face dries completely out I was putting on the problem skin moisturizer after I would use this and my face still would be dry I have to put on this and my clean and clear moisturizer so I don't suggest this if you want to try it you can um, it may work better for your skin but I don't have really, I have kind of dry skin, sort of. And I have sensitive skin as well. So, this, it wasn't for me. It may be for you, um, but that's my review on it. Now, that's all I have about the Shea Moisture products. It's a really good product. I think you all should try it. $20 at Target. If you have any questions or want to know anything else, comment down below. Comment down below and let me know what you all use for your face when you're having breakouts. Even if you have problem skin, let me know what you use and what works for you and what's a good moisturizer. Thumbs up this video if you love it. Don't thumbs down. And thank you so much. I hope you all have a great, great day. And don't forget to love yours always. Love your life. Love everything in it. No one's life is better than yours. Mwah. Mm -hmm.